We can take a risk, we're taking a risk. No way. Today, we are back in Payday 2 for my solo stealth normal series. And today, we are in gonna be doing Shadow Raid. Now, Shadow Raid is a stealth only. If you muck it up, you have one minute to get back to the van. Alright, and it has some luck parallel is where planning. Meets preparation. So, what I like to do is I have a dead drop of thermal paste on the uh, sidewalk outside the camp compound. A loot drop off point of Very the smart. waterfront garbage. And the zip line Trust to the river tunk. Very, Planning very point. useful. All Execution those things. Time. Let's do it. Almost there, gang. Get those clown masks on. We need a minimum of three things before we can actually muck off. That's the depot. You know what you need to do, but keep the alarm quiet. If the alarm goes, I'll have to prove you out. We'll try to get as much right. as That's much things as possible. Like there is a lot. I'm trying to go this way. I know this map really well, so. In terms of guards, it, it, it will be. Keep an eye out for anything you can hustle out of there. The murky water containers are your best bet. Go that way. Okay. Good to know. I, I usually go up there and across and jump across there, but I'm thinking we'll use the uh, sewers today. Pace for. There is another lot which I need to get around. We need to go further. Oh, there's a ladder here. I reckon there'll be one more. Ha ha ha. We're inside the compound now. Oh, it's the murky water. Murky water. Anything in here? No. Always oh, open one, so you can hide. Open those murky water, water containers. If anything has illegal loot, it will be them. There's a guard here. Carefully does it. Carefully I need a crowbar to open the uh, little crates. You know, I don't usually take this approach for coming in, but I decided to this time. No idea why. What I'm looking for is crowbar because there's lots of crates in this warehouse bit. There's a vault as well, so. Thank God, stationary. Watch it, guys. I think you might be. There is a camera room. We can take the cameras out. Cameras are 
crowbar upstairs. Sometimes there's a crowbar in here. There isn't as money. Dumpster down there. Gage says you can use it to stash some loot. Some loot bags you can run with, some can't. Money is one of the ones you cannot run with. few manholes around here. Weapons there. Oh, I don't think we can get past him. No, we can't. Should we take him out? I heard that noise too. I've got the shivers now. It will Let's make our approach a lot easier. We can leave them there. Not wasting body bags on someone on the outside. Right. This was the garbage waterfront thing that we added. Usually if there's a guard there, we've taken him out. There won't be a guard over here. Nope. We're clean. Oh, they're gonna drop a uh, warehouse container by the sound of it. Now I want to come through here so we have access to the outside. There's barrel loot on the inside. But three and then we can muck about a bit. So I I intend to only take out two yards and that was that one and the camera guy. What we can do actually use the zip line. And this mission, I'm very good at it. Watch out, guys. Until I do eventually muck up. Hidden while crouched, but you walk faster when stood up. Guard over here. Just wait for him to move. We can take as long as we want for this because we've got our last bag. Guard. Thing is when they question mark they don't actually come to investigate where that where that where you thought they thought they saw something. Well which is good. And other games like uh, Battlefield Hardline and uh, I think the division as well does that. When you try and do it stealthy. You know, they go and investigate with a little uh, circle where they investigate where it is. Because uh, I know in Battlefield Online, in, in the story mode, you can throw a um, little uh, Gage has what he wants. Great work. You can out money shells and bullets to distract so you can take down the uh, guys. 
Oh. That's what you call a close call. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, Civvy. Open it this way then. Nothing. Okay, and that was the drop container there. What if it's got a Don't make a sound. No, Jesus. We're invisible. Right, we're gonna go inside the warehouse now. May as well. Why is he always here? He's always here when I want to cross over there. Go away. No, wrong way. That way. Go that way. Thing is, I, I don't want to take his, take too many guys down. I mean, if you get noticed, fine, take him down. But if you don't need to or have to, go on over here. Fine. Go on over here. Go away. Thank you. Right in the warehouse we go. We want to find. I want to find a crowbar. Because then, we can find all sorts of loot. To be fair, m probably most of the crates, because it's on normal. Then again, it could sway the other way. Um, the uh, crates could be empty. Some of them will be empty. Hours. So practically, we're gonna get as much stuff as possible until my stealth just breaks. My stealth, my pressure of do doing stealth goes. Cause there, there is a pressure. It's quite intense. If you're not careful on these ladders, you will get downed. You don't want to get down because the AI don't help you unless you get noticed. And you have 30 seconds. So, it, I've done it a few times on this. Like, it's easier with four, with multiplayer co op four players because then they can help you easier than the AI can because they can go directly to you. Don't make a sound. We're using that a lot, I'm glad I got that. It's, those, the assets that I did at the start are the ones, um, are the ones that I always use. Got one over here. Like, 
feel the best. It has been. It has. The thing with those ladders is if you detect you're going to be falling, that means you're too far away from the ladder. So you have time until you reach the end to use the arrow keys to get back into it towards the ladder. And then once, once that's done, you can. Uh, See, so yeah, I go up and then boom. Those little uh, brackets up there help you. So if you do it early on, that's great. Right now we have. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Now we have a crowbar. We can really loot this place. find artifacts as well. They are really heavy though. Do you guys see me? No. Good. Weapons are are like okay heavy. They're not really heavy, but artifacts are even heavier. Gold is this speed as well, and I have um, the skill of transporter maxed out. So even for me, it's going to be really, really tough if we find an artifact. I doubt it on normal. Even if we do um, loot literally everything, I seriously don't think that'll happen. There's a chance there's going to be at least one artifact, but, you know, it's unlikely. There's crowbar there as well. Technically, we are where we were at the start of the episode. Where we found tons of crates. Not tons, you know. Nope, see what I mean? There's gonna be loads of them. You can't see me, it's great. All I need to do is check. Okay, that's good. Do you know why that's good? Because that means we can run with it. I really need to come up here, don't I? That needs to be priority. Really does. I need to get that other thermal base as well if we're going to fully loot this place because it'll be easier to go down a manhole than anything else What? Oh! I meant to go downstairs but I... Uh, <laughs> I'm hot on the WASD today Especially on stealth games like this, you need to be really quick. I'm one of those people that can really crouch and jump and all that really quickly in payday. Hence why I'm so sneaky. Because the trick is run. It's like, it's kind of bunny hopping, but it isn't.
the same time. Like bunny hopping in Gmod, I can't do that. But uh There's a guard here. Damn. Is he stationary? He better not be. I think he is, that's a problem. So I need to go upstairs. Right, okay. Tell you what, what we're gonna do. Whoop. This episode is gonna be probably really long depending on how much pressure I also felt on the manhole one. Um, I don't wanna touch that, otherwise it will do an escape. Right, we've got that now. We can we have access to one more. I'm now lost. Wow. Okay. Right, we came from here. What we want is over here. Okay. The reason why I'm doing it this way just so I know where. Oh, okay. I know where I am. When you're doing multiplayer, oh, what tends to happen is a load of load of people open up the manholes and they drop the loot down for other players to grab. This heist needs one thing, one thing only: patience. That's what it needs. Put this in the van. Straight in the van. And another one. We have ten bags. Really? Wow. We're on. We're on a roll today, guys. A roll. There we go. Okay. Always make it easy for yourself for ladders. Practice makes perfect. You need to master ladder, going up and down a ladder in Payday 2 because it, it can be difficult if you're a new player. You know, you can get down pretty easily. I'm a f lot of other ways, but there is another way to get upstairs. I've just realised it's through the warehouse. It's an idiot, right? Boom, upstairs. <laughs> so we actually have a third eye. Yeah, and we can now access the roof. Take out the camel guy, because the camel guy is on the uh, second floor. Technically, there's a basement kind of area, which is the area we have been in. And then there's like the uh, first floor and second floor. Sometimes guards come up here. Yeah, there's one right there. Watch it, guys. He's stationary. I don't think he is, because they usually move. Try to sneak past him. Whoa! He's gonna walk right past us. We're dead. Uh, 
uh, wrong number. Uh, wrong number. Um, yeah, no, I'm kidding. It's fine. Back again, just in case another one comes up. If I seem to remember, a helicopter comes with more guards if you take out a number of guards. Because that's how it works. I ain't taking any chances. No chances whatsoever. I could have gone up there. I'm an idiot. Okay. Yeah, that's He is stationary. He is stationary there. Let's see. Whoa! Never seen a guard in there before. Never in my life. How did he not hear that? To be fair, they, they don't do it on hearing, they do it on uh, yeah. That was last seen in the Iraqi National Gallery. These guys are shameless. That ideal. Whoa. Risking. Risking, risking. Now, we need two key cards for the vault. Now, we can only carry one key card at a time, I think. If you find somewhere on way off campus and it's got a 10 second time lock, you're screwed. You're not. There's a guard right outside the vault. Take him out. You presume he has another key card. So you kill him, but the other key card is likely to be the camera guy. So you take out the camera guy, yeah? Then you take that card, go down the vault, open it up. There. And then you have 10 seconds to go to that guard, and that guard is pretty close. So we're going to make it, because it's the same as the, uh, I reckon... I think it's a 10 second time lock on Go Bank, and I've successfully done that. And I had to go over the counter in Go Bank once. So, I think we're fine. Oh, nuts. Don't move. Stay there. Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, I uh, I forgot about this pager. Over. Alright. Where is it? There it is. Right. Now we have that. That one in there is stationary as well. Why is there so many stationary guards? That's what I would like to know. Why? Why you do this? Right, of course, I'm presuming, because it could be any yard in the entire compound that could have that key card. But it's likely it's going to be the other the, Or it could be lying around. But it's not where it would be. Cameras are out. We can take this guy out. Fog with simultaneous two card reader. Probably ten seconds time lock. They must be hiding something tasty. You're kidding, right? Damn it. Okay. Stuff the vault. We ain't doing the vault. <laughs> There's no way there's any more time. Plus, that is the last pager. Last pager. We can't kill anybody else. It would be a good shout, but the uh, keycard is randomized. The 
key card, so. But I think it's a definite for the camera guy. That's the thing. Damn, I know crates actually got loot in them. Apart from like one which had cocaine in it. Damn. I could use the key card. One of these cages. They don't have anything. Okay. Oh, I can't go up there, can I? Where's that guy? How did I get down here? How did I get down here? Oh yeah. Go down here. We've practically looted it all, I reckon. We're gonna take a risk, we're gonna use this way, so we've used every single possible way. Alright. Okay. Boom. I reckon we can do one more thing and then we'll go to call it a day because we can't get in the vault, sadly. Would have been good. Nah. Nothing in there, I don't think. Oh, there is, there's some weapons right there. Right, there's that there. Or oh, there's that. We can take a risk. We can take a risk, we're taking a risk. No way. Artifact. I think I saw a documentary about that on National Geographic. Look how slow they are. Seriously? Yeah, this is how slow an artifact is. Because it's so heavy. We're not taking this to the van. We're taking the... Uh, we're gonna drop it down though, because I'm not risking... ...downing at this stage. There we go. Slowly we go. But good find. Good gamble that was. Good to the van, we're wrapping this up here. Half an hour's good enough for me. Plus we've probably got all the loot, I think. 125 grand. It's pretty good, eh? We have 12 bags. It's good. It's good. And score! Boom. 5% self bonus as well. Pretty good, if I say so myself. Pretty good uh, cash as well, and that's just not normal. Should get some more decent XP this time. Meh. Not by much, but a bit better. What do we get today? Let's have a look. Okay, mask. Alright guys, so, I do uh, hope you enjoy this, this has been like, this has been the most successful heist in the series yet. So if you liked it, and you enjoyed it, please give us a like, comment below what you thought, and if you're new and you enjoy this, please subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in my next video.